Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I'm starting a new series called Gunther Snacks, and they're basically just snack size videos. They're pretty raw, very uncut. For the most part, there's not really much talking, but it's basically almost like just a rundown of something that I typically wouldn't film. But I think it's something that's very useful that I haven't been paying mind to lately, like like things that I do on the daily that I'm trying out, like different hairstyles, or just messing around with my hair, or just anything in general. Gunther Snacks is just something that you guys can enjoy and something that is very straightforward and to the point, not trying to stretch videos super long. And they're not gonna be uploaded on the regular upload schedule, which is, what is it, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. It's gonna be at random. Sometimes maybe multiple on one day. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys are stoked about the Gunther Snacks series. It's gonna be pretty cool. Enjoy today's video. These are my NST outliners. I actually kind of did like a half skeleton on them just recently. And I like these clippers. And the blade is actually zeroed out. Now I'm really not even sure what these clippers are called, but you can relate these to like faders or masters or magic clips or anything like that just because it has a lever on it. Use it for fading. Also using my Andes. T foils. Now you guys, you can pick up all three of these in the link in the description. I'm linking all of these down below. The T outliners, the T foils, and whatever these are. <laughs> They're all linked down below. One of the number one things you gotta have is a mirror if you're gonna be cutting your own hair. Super important. Look at those moco frap eyes, man. Let's get into this cut. I also like to have a hard bristle brush and a little brush and a comb. First things first, let's comb through this hair. Now I'm gonna go in with my clippers. I like to use these to create a bald line versus using my T outliners, especially when I'm cutting my own hair, just because there's less room for error. Now I'm gonna go in and take out all the hair under that line. That was honestly the quickest I've ever like actually did the bald line and then balled it out. I think a lot of things just take confidence. And I know with confidence, things go quicker and they turn out a little better. So now I'm going to actually go in with my T outliners just to make this a little lower because you can see some stubble. So it's constantly just me working all the way down to the T foils to where it's all the way down to the skin. All right, now I'm gonna start going in with this brush and then kind of just brushing everything down and then I can go back in and start creating my blends. And the reason I use a hard bristle is just because my hair is pretty thick and I like to make sure that all my hair is down. Now I'm going in with my lever open and I'm about to go up about, I go up about three quarters of an inch. Some people go up in an inch, but I'm going to go up three quarters of an inch with the lever open.
Now I'm going to do lever open still with a one guard on. Then I'm going to go up another about three quarters of an inch. All right, still got the lever open. This time I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the two guard and go straight up and take out all that bulk. That's the part that makes the hugest difference just because it takes down all the thick hair. And I need to keep these baby hairs up because I'm still trying to grow them out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finally close this and then throw on a zero guard. And this is to knock out the middle line. All right, now I took the guard off, lever closed, and I'm just gonna knock out this bottom line right here. All right, now I'm gonna finish off with the T-foils. Sometimes I'll go in right after I do the bald line and then go in with the T-foils before I even get into the fade, but I'm doing it afterwards. You can either do this before or after, like what I'm doing, it's personal preference. Now I'm just gonna do some touch-ups and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, lined up everything and we're looking really good. It's probably one of the cleanest fades I've given myself. I feel like I'm just, I just keep on getting better and it becomes more natural. And I think that's just really how it goes. Everything's just becoming more natural as far as cutting on myself. Um, it just keeps on with persistence and consistency. Like, and that's with anything. Like, if you keep on doing something, you're gonna get better at it. That's one thing I've definitely noticed with cutting hair because I had no skill whatsoever, no experience, and I just started cutting hair on Diddy, and then Chandler, and doing it on myself, and then take some time, but you start to get better. Obviously, I'm not, like, professional, and there are some areas that I do need to get better on as far as blending and everything like that, but that's pretty good for not being professional or licensed. Just being able to take care of myself. All right, you guys, and if you wanna watch me kind of try to, well, let's face it, I failed at trying to get the wet look 
You guys can check that out. I think it was a video before this one. And also don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com or click the link in the description to check out the clippers that I used in today's video. But on that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.